Now we'll get on with the high voltage circuit build. For this we'll need a 2.2 microfarad 400 volt capacitor, a 100 nanofarad capacitor, a UF4007, a 100 microhenry inductor, a 3K resistor, an IRF840, a 390K resistor and a 4.7K resistor. Especially important is don't mix these two guys up. So the 390K resistor has the color code orange, white, black, orange, brown. And the 4.7K resistor has the color code yellow, violet, black, brown, brown. We're going to mount these components in the order that they are mentioned in the list. First of all, we're going to mount the capacitor C1. And again, this has a white stripe on the side and a short lead is the negative lead. And we just put it in, making sure that the orientation is correct. We trim up. Next, the 100 nanofarad capacitor, the 104. So it's marked 104. And it goes in this slot over here, C7. To solder this, I have to take the Arduino off. Trim them up. Next we put in the UF4007. This is D2 which goes here. Notice that there is a silver stripe on it. The silver stripe goes to the square hole. To hold it in place, I'm going to use a bit of tape just while I solder the connections. Take the tape off. Now you can see silver stripe is there. Next the inductor and this just goes next to the uh, capacitors there and again I'm gonna tape it in while I solder it. Seems good. The 3K resistor is R10, and this has the job of holding down the gate on the MOSFET. So if, uh, if we didn't hold it down, electrically that is, um, it could be that the MOSFET would start conducting if we don't drive it and that would short out the power supply. This MOSFET is directly across the power supply and normally it shouldn't be on. It should only be on when the controller is controlling it. So the IRF840. Now to do this we have to put the component in like this but we want it laying down. We have to be a bit careful not to make it too long so it doesn't um, interfere with the earth wire on the barrel jack there. So we want to bend these guys down and then we'll test fit it to see if it's going to be okay. That looks fine to me. And then again 
I will just tape it down while I solder it. Okay, so we see it sitting down nicely. And I will trim up the leads. get rid of the offcuts. Now this is the important part. We mustn't mix these two guys up. So R1, R1 is on this side, it's on the left as we're looking at it, and this must be the 390K resistor. If you confuse these, you will end up putting high voltage straight into the input pins of your Arduino and you will destroy it. And R2 is the 4.7K. Bend the leads out to stop it uh, running away. And once one is in, you can put the other one up straight. Let us test it. So now we can put the Arduino back on. All looks good. Let me get the meter. On DC volts, and we will put that in the picture and plug it in. Now we're expecting to see the lights in the Arduino, that's good. And we should be able to test ground to 5 volts, very good, nearly 5 volts, that's good enough, and to the 170 volts test point, 195, that's fine, we're over at the moment, normally what will happen is um, the tubes will load down the voltage, but because we're unloaded at the moment, we're a bit above, it's perfect.